Hello, 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 and welcome to Pastor Kim's Corner. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new, please consider liking, subscribing, posting a comment, and hitting the notification bell. Most of all, i love for you to post a comment and let me know how the Lord is blessing you through this daily motivation. I'm reading today from 1 Thessalonians, the third chapter. I want you to hear how Paul is encouraging the church. Most of all, I want you to see that you are an example and a light to others. Did you know that you can encourage others just by the amount of faith and love that you show? And this is what Paul is talking about about the church of Thessalonica. So let's take a look. 1 Thessalonians, third chapter. So when we could stand it no longer, we thought it best to be left by ourselves in Athens. We sent Timothy, who is our brother and co-worker in God's service, in spreading the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you in your faith so that no one would be unsettled by these trials. For you know quite well that we are destined for them. In fact, when we were with you, we kept telling you that we would be persecuted, and it turned out that way, as you well know. For this reason, when I could stand it no longer, I sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that in some way the tempter had tempted you, and that our labors might have been in vain. But Timothy has just now come to us from you and has brought good news about your faith and love. He has told us that you always have pleasant memories of us and that you long to see us just as we also long to see you. Therefore, brothers and sisters, in all our distress and persecution, we were encouraged about you because of your faith. For now we really live, since you are standing firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? May the Lord truly add a blessing to the reading of his word. Perhaps you'll go later on today and read this for yourself. Paul says in verse 9, How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? My question to you today is, do you have joy in the presence of God because of the love and faith of someone else. Think about it, people of God. Who do you think about when it comes to love and faith as a Christian? And do people think about you when it comes to love and faith as a Christian? That is a powerful word on today. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you have a purpose-filled life and you know that I love you with that agape love.